Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna remake this sort of effect in Photoshop. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So we're gonna go on Pexels and get an image. I, you know, I usually get my images from here. Um, this is not sponsored, but I just truly love these guys. I feel like this could look cool, so we're gonna go ahead and download this image and open it up in Photoshop. I'm gonna resize it. So what I'm thinking is with a, any selection tool, I'm just going to select the part I want to stretch Command J to duplicate that selection onto a new layer. Command T, hold down shift and stretch all the way, I guess. Stretch it a lot. I mean a lot. Let's see what, what we did. Okay. See? Yes, this looks good. Kind of. We are going to change the blending mode to something like lighten, I guess. Now this looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to rasterize the background layer and just select the parts where our photo doesn't reach. So we can content aware fill it with our background color. And then, ta-da, kind of easy. Um, next, what can we do next? Um, there's a little bit of blur and a little bit of motion blur and some grain in here. Should we do this on the other side with the blues as well? Maybe. Let's try it out and see. We have to stretch it this much because I made a big selection, but if you just selected like one, like a pixel line, you don't have to stretch it out this much. Ooh, cool. Let's change the blending mode of this as well to whatever fits best. I feel like lighter color fits best in here. Um, and then I'm going to group this duplicate and merge just so if we mess up we have a back backup copy but if we don't we don't actually need it um let's leave it turned on i'm going to add some blur and we're going to go and add some motion blur as well Angle zero. We don't want that to be like an angle. Now this could be kind of cool. What if we now that we have our two copies, let's make another copy of this and merge it. Um, and what if we change the blending mode of this blurred layer? Whoa, this looks cool. Um, yeah, we get a cool glowy effect. That's what I thought. Um, let's reduce the opacity of this. Looks really nice. I'm going to merge everything together again. And we're going to finally add some noise. Um, we're going to probably add some contrast to this. To make it more like the original. We obviously have different colors over there, but we can also add a hue and saturation adjustment and change the hue of this if you want the colors to be different. Yeah, I'm guessing it's pretty similar. These obviously they added um, like some sort of overlaying. So it's not as cool as ours because we didn't use no overlaying and no textures for this. It's cool just the way it is because we're good graphic designers. I actually really, really like this. I feel like it's super cool. It came out just the way I wanted it to look. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, in the description down below, there are all the links to my gradient map packs and my texture packs and my posters, prints, and all that good stuff. So definitely go check those out if you want. And if you like my art, go check out my Instagram as well. I post daily designs on there. I've 
I'm on day 500 and something, so it's been a pretty long journey, more than a year and a half of designing every single day and haven't skipped anything. So I definitely appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube and go give me a follow on there as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.